Welcome to episode 2 of our Cinematic AI Podcast. Today we're testing something very real, something every creator asks. Can different AI video tools create completely different stories from the same prompt? In this episode, we're diving deep into two of the most exciting AI video tools, VO3 and Kling. We'll begin by comparing how both platforms handle the same text-to-video prompts, from live interviews to street moments. Then, we'll switch gears and test their power to bring still images to life, seeing how each transforms a single frozen frame into cinema. Let's begin this cinematic face-off. What do you think of the people in this uh, market? Well, they are all uh, very much. Are you kidding me? I am. Yeah. Kling does a great job of maintaining character and structure. But Veo3, it gives us timed dialogues, expressions, and cinematic camera angles, all generated directly from the prompt. This is one of Veo's biggest advantages right now. It understands the full cinematic moment, not just visuals. M E H E, no, no. H R? Oh, really? Hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> <laughs> Kling's handheld style camera adds realism but Veo3 hits again with timing, expression, and synced speech. It plays like a viral ad, tight and memorable. Have you seen Google's new Veo3 model? It is now available in India. Yeah, I saw it. It's already available on Fall. It's crazy good. Kling handles framing and background motion beautifully, but Veo builds rhythm. Sinking dialogue, head turns, and camera movement in one clean shot. I have been waiting for you So what did we learn? Kling is brilliant for realism, stable output, and scene consistency. Veo3 brings in cinematic direction, emotional timing, and native dialogue delivery. But it's not one-sided. In one of our cinematic prompts, a massive alien mothership above a shattered futuristic city, a lone superhero charging a plasma blast on a crumbling skyscraper. Kling actually outperformed Veo, especially in wide-scale destruction, particle chaos, and gravity-defying motion. So yes, each platform has its strengths. Kling feels more controlled, while Veo feels more emotive and expressive. And honestly, I do hope Kling soon introduces a built-in dialogue feature like Veo. It would make it a complete cinematic package. In the end, choosing between them depends on your story, tone, and what kind of filmmaker you are. Both are powerful, just in different ways. Now that we've seen how both perform with full text prompts, let's give them a still image, a snapshot from each scene, and ask, can you turn this into a cinematic moment? And now, we prepare for something deeper, based on a real event. A recent tragedy that shocked the entire nation. A story of heartbreak, loss, and memory. Any guesses? Yes. We're talking about the Air India flight crash that claimed so many lives. Episode 3 will be a tribute, created using AI, not for fun, but for feeling. Let's see if these tools can carry emotion, not just visuals. Till then, subscribe, reflect, and keep creating. AI-171 को टेक ऑफ क्लीयरेंस दे दो